Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install WordPress on a newly bought website. So as you can see, yesterday we registered this website, howtoprofix.com. This is same as my channel name. So we registered this domain from IONS for very cheap for just $1. Now, the next step is to, you know, take a hosting and uh, install WordPress and start building this website. However, because I already have an existing hosting, uh, I will show you how to install the WordPress using the cPanel. So I have logged into cPanel already. So from the cPanel dashboard, you have to scroll down and find something that says, uh, Softaculous app installer here. Uh, this has been updated so you can directly click on WordPress and now this will take you to the WordPress installation and uh, Just make sure that you click on install and uh, You have to make sure you choose the right installation URL that is in my case how to profits.com and uh, Set up the admin name. I'll set up the admin name same as this one admin and uh, let me hide the password. Okay, I'll give it. I'll give the password, and uh, this will be how to. Yeah, I'll leave this as default. I'll create this address just in case, and uh, we will name this site how to bro fix and. Uh, Description you can change this later as well. So I'll enter the description as uh, website your voice WordPress tutorials and tricks. Okay, for now, and then now the settings have changed from last time. So let me go to this backups. Yeah, in the advanced setting, you will have to enter the database. It will be created by default, so you don't have to worry. Uh, unless you're, and if you want, you can select a theme. I don't want anything now, so I don't need the installation details as well. So I'll click on install. And uh, yeah, I'll save this as well. Installation has been successful. Now, if I reload this website, you can see our default theme has been installed. And uh, I'll go to this website slash WP admin and try to log in with the same uh, credentials that we just uh, created. So there's a name as admin and password same as the one I created now. Remember me because I uh, don't want to log in every time. There you go. That's how you can install WordPress on a newly bought website. Okay. If you have a uh, good hosting if you have a hosting that provides cpanel so if you're looking for a good hosting deal good web hosting uh, package make sure to check the description i have some really good deals for you guys and uh hope you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye bye